a kind of treasonous thought has been going through my head lately. Is a G-Shock just an acceptable form of fashion watch for watch geeks like us? Hi, welcome back to Not So Obvious Watches. I'm Pete McConville. Oh, I'll get, rip this off, get this off my chest. Um, I'm not really a Casio slash G-Shock kind of guy. I do own one. It was issued to me by the Air Force many, many years ago. Um, tip, these G-Shock shells don't cope with hazardous chemical environments very well. So my G-Shock has now been reduced down to that core shell with all of the kind of rubbery stuff on the outside having perished and long gone. So yeah, if you do own and love a G-Shock, keep it away from any kind of chemicals. They don't play well there. But like I said, I've never really been involved in it. However, kind of like Casio, like if you take Casio and Seiko and Rolex, those are kind of core brands of the watch collecting community. They're kind of things that we can use to navigate through. And so I was really keen to understand where the G-Shock love came from. What was it about G-Shocks, which I was clearly missing. Not to try and love them more, but just to try and understand what people see in them. So over many years that I've been into watches now, I've not really bothered watching reviews of G-Shocks because why would I? I'm not interested in them. But over the last probably three or four weeks, I've been making myself watch YouTube videos talking about G-Shocks. So in the last couple of weeks, I've watched hundreds, literally hundreds of G-Shock videos. Now, Random Rob's got something like 50 on his site. Um, Jody's got quite a few on his site and they are one of the most reviewed watches and on the internet. And it struck me that 99% of what anyone ever talks about with a, with a G-Shock is what it looks like. There's essentially no discussion of the functions of a G-Shock, of the things it can do. M most G-Shocks would have a chronometer function, a chronograph function, sorry, rarely mentioned. Most G-Shocks have some sort of alarm function, almost never mentioned. Many G-Shocks have a kind of world time or second time zone function, rarely if ever mentioned. How do you use a G-Shock? How do you set one up if it's got Bluetooth or or um, that kind of radio GPS antenna thing? Never, never discussed. What's the menu system like? Is it easy to set or is it hard to set? Um, how are the buttons? Are they good or bad? Are they easy to find or hard to find? None of that is ever discussed in reviews of G-Shocks. All we ever get is this is a cool shape, this is a cool finish, we like the laser ablating here, we like the color choices there, we like this because of this, but never what it can do. The cheesiest and cheapest quartz chronograph from Timex um, gets more reviews of its functions than the biggest and most exciting and most swept up G-Shock. You can get a G-Shock that can do everything under the sun and all anyone will ever talk about is how cool it is. That's really surprising. Now, I know all watches are to some extent fashion items. I love the expression that, um, that uh, Ariel Adams uses, that watches are a form of functional jewelry, an acceptable form of ornamentation that men can wear because, you know, rings and bracelets and necklaces and so forth are kind of frowned on for us. So we take all of that and we pour it into watches. But to be honest, I was stunned at how, frankly, superficial, how decorative, how ornamental our discussion of G-Shocks is. Um, now, the other thing I would say is I know for a fact that 
people have been using G-Shocks for a long time. A lot of that stuff is probably taken as red. I don't need to tell you what the functions of a G-Shock are because we all know. But the, the same could be true of every other watch. Every other watch we look at has functions that of course they have, and yet we still feel the need to talk about them. We still feel the need to talk about the date integration or how the crown feels when you use it or how the bezel feels when you use it. Have you noticed none of that happens with a G-Shock? No one ever talks about how satisfying or not the, the use of the buttons is. No one ever talks about how easy or not it is to set a G-Shock, whereas we will routinely do that with other watches. It really caught me, as I said before, really caught me by surprise at how differently we treat a Rolex to even the simplest other mechanical or even quartz watch. Oh, and don't get me started on the fact that you know, you make any other watch in anything other than a 20 or perhaps 22 or maybe a 20 or maybe an 18 millimeter um, bandwidth. You make what, God forbid, you make one with a 19 or a 21 millimeter watch and it's like it's the end of the world. It's, it's Armageddon, cats and dogs living together. It's just insane. And yet, and yet, a G-Shock band is essentially irreplaceable. So not only do we not particularly seem to care how they work, we've kind of decided they're not even important enough to put a new band on. They're routinely discussed as throwaways, items which we will beat the hell out of and then bin, so much that we don't even care about putting another band on them. Hence, bring me all the way back to are they just a fashion watch which we, the watch community, have kind of deemed to be okay? I don't know. Um, is that just me and my kind of not getting G-Shocks coming through? Is there a whole other way of looking at a G-Shock? Is a G-Shock not even really a watch? Is it something else? It's certainly looked at by anyone who's reviewing them. It's certainly not treated like any other watch. It's in its own other category. What are your thoughts? Do you think of an, a G-Shock as just another watch and that it should be reviewed just like every other watch? Or is it somehow different? Is it somehow shaped like a watch and do the sorts of things that our other watches can but in our minds is something completely different, is not like Hamilton or a Long Jeans or a Rolex or an Omega or, or anything. It's, it's a completely different category. I don't know. Let me, let, all I know is that for some reason, it's clearly not like everything else. What are your thoughts? I've been Pete McConville. This has been Not So Obvious Watches and I'll uh, see you later. Bye.